Hello, my friends, and welcome to today's practice. Today, I'm going to guide you through a chicken routine for the lower body. If you are looking for a practice to boost circulation to your legs and feet, as well as increase flexibility and range of motion, and also feel confident and stable on your feet, this is a good practice for you. Go ahead and get ready, and let's begin. Hello, my dear friends and community members. I'm here today to announce a brand new 30 day Qigong series. It's a journey tailored for everyone. Each week is tailored around a specific theme, and each day brings a new class to awaken, harmonize, grow, and transform. From invigorating balancing exercises, to fiery core strengthening, complemented with healing breath works and restorative meditation sessions. This journey is more than just your daily workouts. It's an opportunity to foster a stronger and more harmonious relationship between your body and your mind. I invite you to join me and others on this beautiful journey together to harmony and inner balance. We begin in a standing position. Take a moment here to adjust your alignment, keeping your feet firmly planted all on the ground. Soften your knees, relax through your hips. Adjust your tailbone and the lower back position so it feels nice and neutral. Keeping your spine nice and long, shoulders relaxed. Bring your chin slightly in, open through the back of the neck, and mentally reach upwards through the crown of the head. From here, go ahead and come up on your toes. Release, unlock your knees, and come to a gentle bend. Inhale as you come up on your toes. Exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Continue to practice. Be mindful of the lower back position. We want to keep it nice and neutral. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. From here, continue the movement, adding up the arms, inhale. Nice and soft, not a lot of effort, exhale. Inhale. Begin to open the chest, stretch through the spine, as we're slowly building up warmth and energy in our legs. Inhale, exhale, make it pleasant, make it enjoyable, easy long exhale, fresh, beautiful, free, inhale, exhale. Couple more. Keep your attention, focus on the lower body. One more time, all the way up. Exhale, down. From here, we're going to warm up the ankle. Go ahead and circle, making sure that the ankle joint and the muscles around it are working. Change direction. Well done. Repeat the same. 
Try to pay attention, as much attention as you can. Where the mind goes, the energy follows. Change direction. Very good. Relax. Feel free to shake it loose if you need to. Bringing the feet closer together, coming down to warm up the knee joints. Go ahead and circle. Keep it small. Keep it easy. Six times in one direction. And then six times in the other direction. One more time, circle, and then gently push your knees to the back. Let me show you the side view. You want to tug it and open the area right down the back of the knees, the hamstring, even the calf muscles. Bring your knees forward, slowly building up strength in your lower body, push to the back, and again. Exhale as you push, inhale as you bring it forward, exhale, push, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale as you align yourself, head to the sky, exhale, come out. Adjusting the feet to show the distance apart, hands on the lower back. If it feels good, you can always leave them resting by the side. Slow, steady, even heap rotation, making sure that we connect the four points or four directions. We can always start with a smaller range gradually increasing as we warm up listen to your body this is the best teacher you can ever have your body knows best And you can begin to build up you know, the sense of warmth. If it's not there yet, just simply become aware of this area. The big muscles, the big joints, everything in between and behind is just getting some movement. There's action happening. There's fluidity. All the things are moving gently. Very good, change direction. Your palms are also bringing extra warmth, extra comfort to your lower back. I often say that you can do this exercise for a very long time and some uh, texts even say to up to 100 times, up to 200 times, especially if you have problems with your lower back or you have any kidney chi deficiency. So 200 times, that's where we want to be. <laughs> very good. You can always pause the video and continue if you have time. Then we're going to gently comfort ourselves with a little back rub. 
breathe in that extra stimulation, extra warmth to the lower back region. Very good. Brush it down. From here, a couple of exercises to test our balance. Get yourself grounded, unlock your knee, and then go ahead and circle forward. Slow and steady. Feel all the muscles on the way up. Feel all the muscles on the way down. Twice more. And last one. Well done. You can touch if you need a little break. Otherwise, go ahead and circle back. Three more to go. Making sure you're breathing well. Last one. Well done. Now we can touch. Relax. And I want you to work with the same leg. So we're gonna shift back. And now keeping your leg nice and straight, go ahead and circle six times. Standing comfortably. You may even feel a little pinch here. Twice more. Well done. Again, feel free to touch or go ahead and circle back. Last one. Good job. Relax. Okay. Good, good, good. You can feel the difference. It's amazed me every time. <laughs> so let's circle forward. Get yourself nice and steady. Feel free to hold on to something if you're just building up your strength. Six times forward. And when you're circling, pay attention to how your ankle and your foot feels. Sometimes we tend to create tension unnecessarily. And I want you to send the relaxation all the way down to your toes, especially on the way down. Think of your foot as a cat's paw, very soft. Brush in. One more forward. Very good. And then six times back. Again, try to relax your foot as much as you can. The more we can relax, the more circulation, capillary circulation activates. Very good. All the way to the back. Well done. Relax. From here, six circles with a straight leg. If you feel and find this challenging, too much of a pinch or just uncomfortable, you can circle just next to your standing leg, standing foot, gradually increasing as you're regaining your strength. Change direction. Well done, and relax. Shake loose. I like this one a lot. <laughs> Just give it that sense of, wow, rest, relaxation, energy is moving, feeling good. Very well done. So we're going to finish with another strengthening exercise is we're going to return back to this leg and put it down without rotating the pelvis as much try to find a nice kind of establish a strong foundation pelvis forward so is the knee and then bring them parallel shift the weight and sink and again shift the weight we're gonna add arms and sink. 
And again, shift the weight and sink. Shift the weight and sink. Seventy percent of the weight is on the front leg, front foot. Spread in that hip. And again, I like this one as well. So fun to do. I can feel energy. I can feel the strength in my lower body, in my legs. A couple more. Just swing. And last one. Oh. Well done. Coming back to center. And let's decompress and relax. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and a couple more, relax and relax and relax and Last one, and exhale. Very good. And from here, we're going to tap to eliminate any tension to promote and boost energy flow through the hips and the legs. Starting with the hip bone, then move to the top of the glutes. down the sides of the legs, slope of the knee, all the way down, move to the inner leg, pause of the knee, a little lighter through the groin, back to the hip bone, move, top of the glutes, Down under the glutes, behind the kneecap, calf muscles, and again move to the front of the legs, pose at the knee, a little lighter through the groin, and finish from on the hip bone. Relax. Bounce it to your heels to signalize total relaxation. The end of the practice, creating those impulses, or waves of energy rushing through, and becoming aware of our lower body, the feet, and circulation. Last one. Relax. Thank you very much. This is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoy this low body focus, especially if you're working on your balance, or flexibility, or just want to build your confidence practicing or walking or doing some form of activities on one leg. You can repeat this practice on a daily basis and enjoy the results. Thank you for joining me. I wish you great health and keep on practicing.